नमस्कार दोस्तों सब्सक्राइब कीजिए नॉलेज गेट चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए इस चैनल की सारी लेटेस्ट वीडियोस तुरंत देखने के लिए हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संचित एंड लेट मी वेलकम यू टू माय चैनल नॉलेज गेट इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर डिस्कसिंग सेट थ्योरी एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो टू बी प्रोसाइज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग पावर सेट्स फ्रेंड पावर सेट्स इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आइडिया बेस्ड ऑन विच अ नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर रिपीटेडली आस्ड इन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग पावर सेट्स इन डेप्थ एंड देन आई डिस्कस बेस्ड ऑन द पावर सेट वाइट काइंड ऑफ बेसिक क्वेश्चन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन Okay friends now let's understand power set first we'll understand the definition and then I'll discuss a example to understand the idea even better so you understand what definition says let a be a finite set then the set of all possible subsets of a is called power set of a you understand a set of all possible subsets now for example if you see suppose there's a set a here which has only three elements 1 2 3 so you understand how many different subsets are possible one thing we know to be sure that the smallest possible subset is 5 so no matter what set we have the smallest possible subset is going to be what 5 so I have already written it just understand this the smallest possible subset will be 5 because it do not contain any element after this you understand because there are three elements so I'll be starting first with a sets of one element each so you see I can have a set of one then two and then three then we can have combinations of two two so one two one three and two three and then the set itself why I have written it there because you understand as we say every set is a subset of itself when we have discussed the idea of subset then I declared that uh, we discussed that a is said to be a subset of a, it is true so because it is true and we are saying that power set is a set of all possible subsets so the set will also come here so first I think the definition should be clear what is a power set a set where all possible subsets of a set are there then that is called power set you understand this thing uh, because most of the time we understand that set will contain simple elements but no here you understand the element of the power sets are itself sets so you see each of the element is a set and uh, from where they are coming they are possible uh, subsets of the set a so I think that is power set you understand now to understand even in more uh, better way there are number of statements I have written and let's understand which of them is true and which of them is false so you see uh, first I think first statement you see it says a is a subset of a power set of a in general if I say a set a is a subset of of its power set it seems that the statement is true but friend actually it is not why you understand this if I say that a is a subset of B if I say in general what do I mean I mean that every element which belongs to a is also belongs to B when I say are you understanding that when I say a is a subset of B I say every element which belongs to a also belongs to B and here if I say that a is a subset of power set of a so you understand and what a contains now a contain only three elements either you can have one you can have two and you can have three now you understand can I say one belongs to P of A when you search out here you will have a set which contains one but there is no one you understand this thing that is very beautiful point now two and three you can have two and three but actually they are not independent two and three there is a set which contains two so again I repeat a set A is a subset of B when all the elements of set A belongs to B now here A contain three elements one two three but none of the element are present in power set of A because neither one neither two neither three is there don't imagine or don't understand that that is one no that is not one that is a set which contains one Hana, I hope the idea is clear so one is a, a subset of a is a, a subset of power set of a the statement is wrong second statement if you see a belongs to power set of a now when can I say for example in general a small a belongs to a set a what do I mean it means that a is an element of set a a small a is an element of set a so here if I say that a belongs to power set of a now what is a now this is a now can you find out here a yes you can see here it is written because as we say that every set is a subset of itself so this statement yes it is true and a yeah any set belongs to its power set it is true 
नेक्स्ट यू सी फाइव इज अ सबसेट ऑफ पावर सेट ऑफ ए माई फ्रेंड दर इज नो रिक्वायरमेंट टू चेक दैट वन आउट बिकॉज वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट फाइव इज अ सबसेट ऑफ एवरी सेट इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट काइंड ऑफ सेट यू आर हैविंग वेदर इट इज पावर सेट और वेदर इज सम अदर काइंड ऑफ सेट बट फाइव इज अ सबसेट ऑफ एवरी सेट दैट इज यूनिवर्सल लॉ सो वेन एवर समबडी इज आस्किंग यू वेदर फाइव इज अ सबसेट ऑफ दिस सेट नॉट नॉट नेवर चेक आउट चेक इट आउट यू जस्ट से फाइव इज अ सबसेट येस इट इज ट्रू बिकॉज फाइव इज अ सबसेट ऑफ एवरी सेट द नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट यू से it says phi belongs to power set of a now here it is interesting because you see when you say phi belongs to power set of a it means phi is the element of power set of a in general if i say you understand next thing in general if i say that phi belongs to a set a is it true no because sometime there may be sometime there may not be phi because if i ask you like this is a which contain 1 to 3 can i say phi belongs to a no you understand phi is a subset of a that is okay but phi do not belongs to a because there is no phi here but with respect to power set if you say that phi belongs to power set yet it is true because as i told you no matter what set you are having but phi is the first possible smallest subset possible so it will always be there in the power set hence this statement is true now phi is a subset of a again as i told you phi is a subset of every set so there is no need of discussing it out phi belongs to a just now we have discussed no sir phi do not belongs to a because if it belongs then you will look at it is not good that it is there but you are not able to see it if phi belongs to a set then you can see where is phi like this phi belongs to power set of a i can see phi but phi do not belongs to a yes phi is a subset of a but phi do not belongs to a next you see uh, again simple logic if i say a belongs to capital a then a also belongs to power set of a again the statement is wrong why you understand this thing again here one belongs to a can i say one belongs to power set of a no why because there is a set which contains one but directly one do not belongs to power set of a so the statement is wrong so i hope with these examples there is a better understanding about the power sets one more logic you see here if i say the set a is of n elements then how many elements will be in the power set of course it is 2 raised to power n i hope it is very simple idea why because you understand here uh, here for example in this case a has three elements 1 to 3 then how many different subsets are possible you see for every element there are only two options possible either you can be in the subset or you cannot be in the subset so every element will have two choices and 2 into 2 into a 2 again will uh, give you What eight number of elements? So that is two raised to power three. Or very simple idea. If I say like this, uh, suppose there are three elements A, B, C. Then how many different options are possible? You can go from zero, 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 and you can go to one, one, one. Again, you can understand zero means you are not present. One means you are present. So again, remember this thing. If uh, cardinality of a set is n, then the cardinality of the power set will be two raised to power n. So I hope the idea of power sets is clear now. At least you have some basic understanding, and you are in the position. to attempt some question now in the upcoming videos let me try some more questions on power set or other logics so that you have a better understanding about the power sets and then we'll continue the discussion so that's all all for this video give me some time and i'll be back very soon with a new video thank you very much